Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stream Go. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on the newest update that they have done for the Fire Stick. I will be coming to you with the version of the Light Fire Stick. Um, the new update, I personally myself don't like it, but hey, there's nothing you can do about it. But I will show you how to navigate it. Just takes a little something to get used to from the old update. But before we get started, I want you to please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive my weekly videos. Let's jump into it. Now, I already, um, I, I'm on the home screen of the new update. Um, so once you go ahead and put in all the information, such as your username and password, your login information, and your Wi-Fi code. And so it will start downloading the software, installing the new um, update and all that, which will bring you to this page right here. And as you can see, the new update um, with your Netflix and Prime Video, YouTube and all that, you can see it in a bigger um, icon or a bigger layout. But as you can see, it's right here. So what you would do, um, we'll go down. Okay, we'll just go over. And as you can see, if once I highlight Netflix, you just drop down and interview all the stuff about Netflix. The same thing as I go over Prime Video. IMB, DTV, YouTube, the news, um, Amazon Music. And once I go over to the three dots, you just press this select to view all of your apps and channels. So once I click on that, then you can see all my apps and channels. Now with this new update, um, that we, once you start installing the app, some of your apps will be, your icons will be missing. Um, but I did. I have done a video on how to avoid the missing icons or the missing logos because sometimes when you, when this will come up and some of the apps that you have installed, some of them will have missing icons and you don't know what you are on. Uh, but like I said, I have done a video on missing icons. Please refer back to that video on how to avoid not um, um, looking on the uh, missing icons. <laughs> or missing icons period you can um, avoid that by a new app i had showed people how to install but just look at my video it'll show you all about that and so we'll hit the home button again and then once if you go all the way over to here you'll see settings will be at the end no need to click on settings because you just drop down and you have all your different categories such as notifications you got account and profile settings you got network Display sounds, applications, equipment control, Alexa, uh, my battery. So you have everything up under here, and you just go from each category, and you can see um, the different categories all at one time. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you um, how to install um, Downloader and FileLink um, in order to um, install other um, applications. So what we want to do, we already own the settings. So we just go down to My Fire TV. And we want to click on Developer Options right up on the About. So once we highlight a um, Developer Options, you want to click on it. And you see ADB Debugger. You want to cut that on. And once we cut that on, we want to drop down to inst Install Unknown Apps. So we highlight and click it. And as you can see, we want to click on OK to install Unknown Apps. And we want to click on our Home button. Now, in order to install any app, whether it's download an app or any other app, we want to, it's not going to um, say search. You will see where it says find, and then you will see search. Normally, you would, um, on an old update, an uh, old file stick with the update, you will see the little um, search icon, uh, like a magnifying glass. But now, you got to go up under find, and then go down to search. So once we go um, highlight find, and go down and highlight search. We want to click on search. And now this is where we can search any um, application that we were looking to install. At this point, we want to install Downloader. So as we start typing in Downloader, as normal, um, it'll start showing up at the bottom. So we just go down, highlight Downloader, and click it. And it's still going to be the first app. So we want to click it again. And it says Download. So we just click on Download. Got it, just click got it. You see it installing. Now it's ready to open, so we'll just open it. Click allow. 
and click OK. We'll just go up, highlight, and I want to put in filelink.com. Filelink.com. Once we have in filing.com, we'll click on go. And it's carried to the filing web page. So we see that the mouse um, cursor. So we want to put the mouse cursor on download filing. You want to click on it. Now, with this new um the new update, it won't install until you go in into settings. Once this page comes up, click on settings. Um, install unknown app is already highlighted, so we want to click on it. You see where it says off, so it's already highlighted. We just click it one time to own. So we just go back. We'll go back. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this right here. We'll go back down right here to download file link again, and we'll click on it. And now, once you bring it to the page, now you can install. Um, this is how the new update is set up. Um, so we'll just go down, highlight install, and click on it. As you can see, it's installing. And once we um, got it installed, let's go over to open it. And so now we want to open it. And I'm just going to go ahead and install one app just to let you see how it works. And we're going to go ahead and install that app called ATV Launcher. It's just another app. It, um, it's like another home screen and it does show all your icons. Like I said, it's in my other video as far as missing icons. But I'm going to show you how to install because I want to show you how it works when you install an app. So we want to, uh, once we got this file link installed, let's go up to the, to the middle where the X is on the garbage can. We want to click on it. Do you want to delete all files from the file link download folder? Yes, it's already highlighted. We want to click on it. And what that does, that deletes the installation files to say help save you more space on your file stick. So we just go down where it says enter code. And we're going to enter my store code. It's 8, 9, 3, 3, 4, 5, 8, 8. It's 8, 9, 3, 3, 4, 5, 8, 8. Once you have my store code in, we'll go down and highlight next and click next. We'll click continue. Let me see, my store code, my, my store has come up, stream and go. Now we wanna find this application called ATV Launcher. And but before we um, do that, this message will come up. We'll just go ahead and dismiss that. So now let's find ATV Launcher. And there it goes. We wanna highlight ATV Launcher. We wanna click on it. As you can see, download has started. And once the download is finished, we want to open it, or not open it, but we want to start the installation. So once you see that play icon at the end, it's ready to be installed. So we already is um, highlighted on, so we want to click on it. And once again, it will carry you back to this right here. So we just click on settings, and install unknown apps. As you can see, it says filing all. So we just simply click on, and we're back out. And we'll click it again, and now we can install it. So we'll just go down to install, highlight it, and click on it. The installation is started. Now, once it's done, we can open it. And this is the ATV launcher. It can it can replace your regular home screen. And uh, see, it um, got all my apps that I have on there and my preloaded apps. So once you install another application, it will appear here. It's just simply you going here and launching this application right here. And therefore you will see all your logos. It won't be no missing logos or icons. So that's just one way of seeing all your icons and logos. But on the other homepage, sometimes it will be some missing logos or some missing icons on certain applications that you install. So what we wanna do, we wanna click on our um, home screen and we'll go over to 
the three lines that would let us see all our apps. And as you can see, ATB Launcher, it'll be right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click the three lines on our remote. And we got the option to move, move to the front or remove from your app. So we wanna move to the front, click the home button on our remote. And as you can see, ATV Launcher will be the first application. Like I said, it's just set up a little different, but it still will be there whenever you turn in your file stick, the first one. And we'll just go over there and we'll click on ATV Launcher. And as you can see, it's like another home screen that you can go to. But that's pretty much how the new update is set up. Um, like I said, in my personal opinion, I like the old update better, but this is what it has come to. I know on the light fire stick, um, the new update, um, but that's how you work through and navigate through the new update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a happy new year. May God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.